Hey YouTubers, uh, you're watching Boar Reviews and today I've got an unboxing of the, the Gear 4 House Party Rise. Now this is a, an iPhone speaker dock and charger, obviously iPod Touch and all generations. It doesn't support iPad but, oh well, I didn't buy it for that anyway. Um, basically uh, I bought the state, it was, it was half price, so I bought it for 49 99 that's British pounds and it was 99.99 so i think i bagged myself quite quite a bargain there um if any of you aren't familiar with gear 4 that's how it's spelled gear and the number 4 um they make lots of uh, products and accessories for uh apple products uh primarily cases and things um but they do have quite a wide range of uh speakers and speaker docks um this charges it and obviously with the new iOS 5 as it's charging it will sync as well so which is pretty cool um, it's got a digital radio built in not DAB just you know it's got digital scanning it's got presets preset radio stations and the pretty cool thing about this is um, right there there's got a, uh, a QR code if you've got like a QR app you can scan that barcode and it will download an, uh, a Gear 4 app and um, this is quite quite cool. They showed me it in the uh, in the shop. If you can see on the front there, basically you can set alarms, control the volume, skip tracks, and that via iPhone through the app and preset radio stations. Not only that is you can connect it via Wi-Fi. Um, I don't think the, the box itself uh, connects to the Wi-Fi. I think it does it through your phone. Um, but if you've got an iPod Touch as well or another iPhone in the house you can control that. So for example, I've got the majority of my music on my iPod Touch, so I could dock that into the speaker and use my phone as a remote, if you like, to control this. Um, also, this does come with a remote. Uh, anyway, let's have a little unboxing, see what's inside. Right, so first things first, cut this little bit of tape here and here. I like to use a knife, keep it nice and there. Maybe a mild case of OCD. I don't know. Just don't like the box ripping. Okay. Alright. It's a nice, nice box as well, you know, for those of you who are fans of packaging. Uh, right. Ooh, lots of stuff here. Right. First of all, here's the tiny little remote, which I may use, but it's one of those things that's a little bit too small. And I can see myself losing it, so I may just put it in a safe place and use my uh, phone as a remote. Uh, anyway, I'll put the battery in that later. Uh, what else do we have? We have a European and a UK plug adapter. And there's the UK one there. We there you go. Uh, what else? Oh, here's the power brick itself. Obviously, I'm in the UK, so I'm going to be using the UK one. So I think it's, I'm guessing it's 12 volts, 9 volts. Well, there you go. Uh, so somehow this plugs into there. I'll do that in a minute again. I don't want to bore you on the camera. It's a cardboard. Uh, the instruction manual, which probably will never be read. And an egg carton type package in here. Alright, let's put the empty box down. Okay. So it's not very heavy, but then again, it doesn't matter because it's not really a portable device. I'm personally going to keep this, you know, for my bedside as an alarm, etc. There it is. Oh, it has one of those um, little aerials on the back, just the really thin wire, which I can see must see being a bit annoying. But uh, in the bottom, you've got some sort of oh, that's for the battery. Ah, I see. Possibly for that one, and normally have a little battery like that just to uh, keep track of the time whilst the uh, device is not connected into the mains. Oh well. Uh, right here we are. On the front, well, nice little silver bit there. That's the actual dock itself. 
Uh, on top, you've got a nice big uh, rotatory uh, volume control. It's also a press it down. It's a snooze and sleep function, which for me personally, and I'm sure a lot of you out there as well, is quite important. Uh, on top here, we have a few buttons. Um, that'll be for the uh, backlight mode alarm set and this side we have power rewind or skip backwards play pause and skip forwards uh, pretty simple a little sticker there uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download the app onto my phone and I can show you firsthand how it works okay so if you just uh, bear with me okay then here we go um, I've connected up to the power and I have just docked my phone just to see if it works and that but the interesting thing is which is pretty cool um, Obviously, the time started at zero, 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 as digital clocks normally do when you first plug them in. As soon as you dock your phone in and open up the app, it syncs the time straight over, so it's done that automatically, which is a nice little feature. Um, right, okay, I do have the app installed here. Um, I'm just going to dock the phone. And there you go, it's got the little noise there, and I don't know if you can see that from this video, but it is actually starting to sync, which, it, as you know, it does. Uh, with iOS 5 when you charge it. Right, so if I'm going to open up the app, SmartLink connecting, gathering device information, blah de blah, blah, and there we go, and it's automatically opened up the music player. Um, so, first things first, sound. Um, I have, did have a little play with this in the shop, and it was, you know, it, it, I, was, I was torn between a few, a few docks, uh, and this one won due to the sound and the fact that. It's not a, a cradle type dock, it's, as you can see. So really, I could dock my iPad into here. Whether it would charge or not, I don't know. Um, because obviously it's not the, the 10 watt power adapter. <clears throat> anyway, but you can dock this with a case, which I was getting onto. It is, you know, pretty good. So, right, let's have a little press play. And you can also, I mean, you can control the volume from here. But as you can see on the app, there's a slider here that goes with it, so you can also control the volume from here. I don't know if you could work that out, but that is actually pretty damn loud for a small device like this. Um, right, let's stop that, and obviously you can skip music, like a, it's only a basic music player, uh, okay. Uh, clock, which is already set, 703 or 704. Uh, PM. Uh, uh, right, where are we? It's loading there. It's loading something or other. I'm not 100% what sure. But as I said, this is just first hands on. A brief little uh, uh, radio. Again, I don't think we pick up any stations as the uh, you know the aerial still all cooled up here. But I will do a follow up video on this on you know once I've used it for a few days. So let's try and scan through and see if we can find something. Oh, it's digital tuning, which is pretty cool. And they don't have to... Okay, it's just gone round in a full loop and it's found nothing. Maybe I do need to extend the aerial, but I'm not doing that right now. Uh, uh, let's turn this fuzzy... Turn that off. The volume. Right, uh, settings. Right, here we go. Alarms. Uh, and the cool thing is, if you, if you set an alarm on your phone, it automatically syncs it to this device so this will work as a standalone alarm clock without uh, an iPhone or iPod touch plugged into it but you can you know, set them on your phone and it syncs it over which is a nice little feature uh, so alarms I think you only get the option for two alarms yeah which I oh know there you go you can, can have more alarms anyway I'm not getting into that now uh, what else do we have uh, sleep and snooze you know, duration five minutes, auto snooze five minutes, sleep time increments ten minutes, uh, interface style. I'm guessing these are sort of, well, different interface styles, I suppose. Uh, 24 hour clock, turn that off because I don't want that. Uh, flip clock, which is what the, uh, the iPhone uses in its settings, which is what you saw earlier. Flip clock or a digital clock. I'm going to leave it with the flip clock because I quite like that. Uh, steel interface or digital interface, let's have a little look what that is uh, oh there you go, oh, I don't like that I'm going to change that back to the uh, the steel interface, it's a bit more me 
Um, weather. Oh, yeah, this also has a scrolling weather feature, just like in iOS 5. You have scrolling across there. Um, so, yeah, there you go. You can settle that. Obviously, set, set it to your location. Auto detect your location. Degrees in Celsius or Fahrenheit. I'm in the UK. I'm using Celsius because that's how I got brought up to learn. Uh, controller speaker. Uh, what's happening here? Smart available link, select host. Uh, if they're currently docked within the 10 meters of you. Uh, this is if I want to link. Ah, oh, this is quite interesting actually. Um, I did read about this. You can link these together. So, for example, say you had another one of these within your household with an iOS device docked into it, you can play this music through the other device, and that and that uses the app. So it, it do it over Wi-Fi. Um, well, I'm guessing Bluetooth because it says within 10 meters. Either way, it's a pretty nice little feature. Um, advanced settings. Let's see what's in there. Allow remote control. I'm gonna turn that on because I'm gonna I'm gonna be using that soon. And then obviously just about and it's a little bit about Gear 4 and bits and pieces, firmware and stuff. So yeah, all in all, a pretty nice little thing for 50 quid. You know, it's brilliant and the sound quality is amazing. So, right, let's have a little look at the remote here. So it's a very basic remote, and as I'm sure you can or can't see, you can't see anything. Um, anyway, I will do a follow-up video on this to show you how I got on with it and how it works, etc. So anyway, thanks for watching Ball Reviews, and please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.